We start right now with new developments in the investigation into a string of shootings that has put people in northern Colorado on edge. Investigators say they haven't been able to link whether the shooting death of a man on a Loveland street is related to two shootings. But the shooting death of William Cano may be linked to another shooting in Loveland that same night. And now police are looking for an orange Chevy or GMC pickup from the 70s, like this one, that may be connected to both crimes. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez is in Loveland. And Lance, this is the first time we've heard about that second shooting. Eric, that's because the intended victim wasn't injured. He or she was shot at but not hit and didn't call police for two and a half weeks. Now, that random shooting happening here in this area near Denver and Eisenhower on the east side of town, that fourth random shooting in northern Colorado, leaving some people, an, giving some people an unsettling feeling. No, I haven't seen anything like that. The orange 70s model Chevy or GMC pickup not looking familiar to people we talked with near the scene of the most recent shooting incident. It's scary to think about it to a sense, but I mean, I mean, I don't know. Maybe someone's looking at us right now down the barrel. You never know. Investigators say an individual came forward late last week to say they'd been shot at the night of June 3rd. That's the same night William Canole was gunned down on a sidewalk two miles away. Today, police released this sketch of what they call a pickup of interest. It's faded orange in color with black primer paint on the driver's side. If you see this vehicle moving and or occupied, please call 911 immediately. Police are asking anyone who sees the pickup to jot down the license plate, get a description of the driver or occupants, and a photo if possible. We asked if the person who was shot at was walking, riding a bike, or driving. The task force knows they're just choosing not to release that information at this time. I mean, Loveland's always been a safe community, and it's not now. And uh, I certainly would like these people to be found. So I will watch for the pickup, and we'll call 911 if we see it. Now, police tell me that the two incidents in Loveland that happened June 3rd are likely related. They say there is no positive link yet between those two shootings and two earlier ones. Corey Romero shot in the neck April 22nd while driving on I-25 near Harmony in Fort Collins. She survived. John Jacoby shot and killed May 18th while riding his bike near uh, Windsor. Again, police say they are vigorously pursuing leads. The most recent one, this pickup. If you know anything about it, contact police. In Loveland, Lance Hernandez. Very Back unsettling. To... Hopefully that photo helps. Thanks a lot, Lance. And as far as the dozens of reports of busted out windows on area highways in recent weeks, well, police still say there is no evidence any of those incidents are related to the other shootings. In fact, they believe road debris is the likely cause.